Welcome back users to uh, lecture number one, part three. So you can see uh, the slides uh, this time discussing the advantages of uh, using loudness. So we have two uh, main advantages of using loudness. First, they don't forward bad broadcast by default as we discussed it in the previous part of uh, lecture number one that uh, routers uh, break the broadcast window. So they, uh, the router do not uh, forward broadcast messages by default, they block it. Uh, in addition to this, they can filter the network based on layer 3 network layer information such as an IP address. Okay, so this is the uh, second advantage of using router. Okay, so we can uh, see now uh, functions of a router in an in network. Uh, we have four uh, main different functions of uh, router. Uh, number one is packet switching. How the a router uh, switch packets? Router is also known as layer three, which is used logical addressing IP or IP version six for packet switching. Uh, number second, we have uh, packet filtering. A router can also uh, provide packet filtering using access lists. Uh, in addition to this, we have internet network communication. The routers connect two or more networks together and use logical addressing. You don't have an internet network. And in the last, we have path selection. Uh, routers use a routing table, which is essentially a map of the internet network to make best path selections for getting data to its proper destination and properly form packets to remote networks. Now we will discuss switches. So we do not use uh, layer 2 switches to create inter-networks. For that we use uh, routers because they don't break up uh, broadcast domains by default. They are employed to add functionality to a network, local area network. Uh, the main purpose of the, these switches is to make a LAN works better to optimize its performance, providing more bandwidth for the local area network users. These switches don't uh, forward packets to other networks like routers do. Instead, they only uh, switch frames from one port part to another, sorry, from one port to another within the switch network. Switches create separate collision domain within a single broadcast domain. Now we will uh, discuss uh, bridges. The term bridging was introduced before routers and switches were implemented. So it is pretty common to hear people referring to switch as bridges. Uh, bridges and uh, switches basically do the same thing. Break up collision domain on a local area network. You cannot buy a physical bridge these days. Only a local area network switches which use bridging techniques. So switches uh, do provide a bridging function, but they do that with greatly enhanced management ability and features. Uh, most bridges had only two or four ports, which is severely limiting. Uh, you would use a bridge in a network to uh, reduce collision uh, within broadcast domains and to increase the number of collision domains in your network. Uh, doing this provides uh, more bandwidth for users. And never forget that using hubs in your Ethernet network can contribute to congestion. As always, plan your network design carefully. Okay, you can see uh, uh, network design. Uh, this was also present on the previous uh, slide, but. Uh, without the colors it is now colors uh, looking at figure uh, did you notice that router has the center stage position and connects each physical network together this is a network segment this is second network segment and this is third network segment see that bridge up at the top of our internet network uh, shown in figure it is uh, there to connect the hubs to a router. These two hubs uh, connected to the router. We have used this bridge. The bridge breaks up collision domains 
but all the hosts connected to both hubs are still crammed into the same broadcast unit. We are talking about these hosts. That bridge also created only three collision domains, one for each port, which means that each device connected to a hub is in the same collision domain as every other device connected to that same hub. This is a really lame and do be avoided uh, to be avoided if possible, but it's still a better than having one collision domain uh, for all hosts. The three interconnected hubs, we are talking about these, uh, the three interconnected hubs at the bottom of the figure also connect to the router. Okay. Uh, this uh, setup creates one collision domain and one broadcast domain and makes that bridge network within its two collision domains look majorly better by contrast. The best network connected to the router is the LAN switch network on the left. Why? Because each port on that switch breaks up collision domains, but it is not all good. All devices are still in the same broadcast domain. And if your, and if your broadcast domains are too large, the users have less bandwidth and are required to process more broadcast. तो यहाँ पे आपने देखा कि तीन किस्म के आपको वो दिखाए गए हैं जो सबसे बेहतरीन है वो ये स्विच वाला है ठीक है लेकिन स्टिल वो भी इसके साथ जितने भी कनेक्टेड यूजर्स हैं वो सेम ब्रॉडकास्ट डोमेन में हैं लेकिन उनकी कोलिजन डोमेन जो है वो अलग अलग है याद रखिए क्या स्विच कोलिजन डोमेन को ब्रेक करता है जितने नंबर ऑफ कनेक्शन होंगे उतने नंबर ऑफ ब्रॉडकास्ट कोलिजन डोमेन होंगे यानी इसकी कोलिजन डोमेन एक ये है दो तीन देखिए से ये चार और ये पांच यहाँ पे आप देखें तो ये सिंगल कोलिजन बन रहा है तो ये पांच और एक छः हो गए और यहाँ पे आप देख सकते हैं कि ये दो है एक ये है और एक ये है इसका तो ये कितने हो गए सात हो गए और ब्रॉडकास्ट डोमेन कितने हैं क्योंकि सिर्फ ब्राउटर ही ब्रॉडकास्ट डोमेन को डिवाइड करता है तो जितने नंबर ऑफ कनेक्शन ब्रॉडकास्ट और उसके राउटर के होंगे उतने नंबर ऑफ ब्रॉडकास्ट डोमेन होंगे तो ये एक दो तीन अच्छा दो मिसअंडरस्टैंड ब्रिजिंग स्विचेस आर यूज्ड टू सेगमेंट नेटवर्क्स बट दे विल नॉट आइसोलेट ब्रॉडकास्ट और मल्टीकास्ट पैकेट्स इट इस इम्पोर्टेंट टू कीप यू ब्रॉडकास्ट डोमेन स्मॉल इन द वास्ट मेजॉरिटी � here I have placed the LAN switches at the center of this network world with the routers connecting to the logical networks. If I went ahead and implemented this design, I have created something called virtual LANs, RV LANs, which are used when you logically break up broadcast domains in a layer 2 switch network. It's really important to understand that even in a switch network environment you still need a router to provide communication between virtual lands don't forget that you can see a real world scenario over here asking whether i should replace my existing 10 over 100 mbps switches or not यानी लाइक सपोज आपके नेटवर्क एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर हैं और आप एक इधारे को जॉइन कर लेते हैं या स्टिल एक्सिस्टिंग इधारे में हैं आपको फील होता है कि जो स्विचेस लगे हुए हैं उनकी स्पीड कम है आउटडेटेड है काफी टाइम हो गया है तो क्या आपको उसको सब को रिप्लेस करना चाहिए या नहीं तो एक तो इसमें ये चीज़ आ जाती है कि बिल्कुल जैसे विद पैसेज ऑफ टाइम जितने भी नए प्रोडक्ट्स आते हैं स्विचेज आते हैं the speed or efficiency of the features are increasing. Definitely, you should have new products. You should have requisition to add it. But still, you can see that the issue of the budget is in every place. It is not that the budget is in the same place. In that case, it can be done that if you have cleverly planned your network, then you can also gain your objectives. 
लास्ट क्वेश्चन जो है वो ये है कि आप अपने स्विच के जो पोर्ट्स हैं तो तमाम के लिए वन जेगा बिट्स पर सेकेंड की स्पीड रखना चाहेंगे चाहे वो यूज़र है सर्वर है या दूसरे डिवाइस है तो जिस अगर हम आज के नेटवर्क्स को देखें जिस तरीके से वो डेटा प्रोसेस कर रहे हैं फॉरवर्ड कर रहे हैं तो बिल्कुल हर पोर्ट पर चाहे वो सर्वर है यूज़र है या दूसरी डिवाइस है हमारे हमें उसके लिए ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा स्पीड दरकार है तो यहाँ तक हमारा पार्ट थर्ड तक मिलते हैं पार्ट फोर में थैंक यू